What's up guys? Today winter is in full force here in Wodonga. I woke up to pouring rain at 5am and it hasn't stopped. It's been non-stop since then and I don't think it's going to let up any time soon. I originally planned to hike to the top of Huon Hill to get some more drone shots, some more cinematography through the DSLR, some beautiful photos, and also share with you a story and a reasoning behind something that I'm doing in this vlog. And that plan's changed slightly. We're gonna do that here with Chloe. And I don't think that's such a bad compromise. I wanna share with you the reason I created this vlog. So, Vogus Prospect, my main channel, that channel was about me getting back out into the bush. It was about sharing my experiences, gold prospecting, um, somewhat my rehabilitation with PTSD. It was sharing facts and knowledge that I had learned from some very experienced prospectors with the rest of the world and answer the questions that I personally couldn't find on YouTube. So it was sparked for many things, but it all focused mainly around two aspects, prospecting and the recovery I was getting from post-traumatic stress disorder. This vlog channel is about something completely different. It's about my ability to document my life. Now, this might seem, I don't know, to me when I say that it seems arrogant it seems it seems like I don't I don't have an incredible life I really don't like I'm not one of these people that's jet setting around the world I'm not someone who's doing massive philanthropy um, that's a hard word to say but I'm not doing things like that I'm not doing things that make headlines even though even though I occasionally do make the paper because of my prospecting finds. <laughs> but it's for another reason. It's for something that, that I haven't shared with very many people and I want to talk about it because, again, this is part of the documentation of my journey in this world. Putting on this on camera is extremely difficult. This part feels a lot more... Uh, a lot deeper. It's something that's not... It's something that's not easily shared and... When I say very people, very few people know about it, I'm talking, I'll probably count them on one hand. This thing is that I can't have kids. Um, I'm completely infertile. And that, that there's no cause for it. it. I'm fit into this very small percentage of people who, who don't have a surgical cause, I don't have a trauma cause, I don't have chemical cause, I don't have any cause. It just doesn't happen. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. And before everyone jumps on the bandwagon and tells me about all the options, I know all of the options. Now, the reason that this is important to this vlog is because when you are in a situation I found, that I found myself in, that you can't ever have kids, it gives you pause to think about your existence and your future. A lot of people will have kids and then they stay focus their energy and their time and their love and their care and their devotion and their, their teaching and their knowledge with those kids. They share everything about themselves with their kids. It's a fantastic thing to be able to do that. Giving someone else an inside look at your life, your values, your core beliefs, who you are, and you get to share it on a very intimate level that not everyone, like myself, can do. And every now and again it hits you, it's a pang. It's this pang of, you know, I've got a diary that I write in because part of my PTSD recovery and I go over things that that bug me or, or that get me down or that frustrate me write all this stuff down and I know no one's going to ever read it and even though I'd be dead at that stage and I would never know knowing that no one will ever see that is hard so I'm left at a standpoint where I've got to reevaluate what I'm doing with my life. A lot of people won't have to ever consider this. And when your options get narrowed, you really have to think about the direction that that narrow set of options is going to take you. I'm going to be taking a path that's less traveled. So I'm left at a point where I've got to decide what's important to me and why that's important to me. And without breaking it down into a million different bits, I am going to use this vlog and this YouTube channel as a diary, as a record of both my successes and my failures, uh, my accomplishments, my passions, my ability to, to share what I have with the world. That's what I wanna do on this. This is about me documenting my life so that one day, maybe one of these videos will reach out and speak to someone at a time that they need it. 
In the future of this channel, I want to do more tutorials. In fact, I've got one plan for GoPros and how to get the best uh, possible looking footage out of your GoPro. And these are the things that I think I can bring to this channel. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy them. And I hope this wasn't overly depressing because I don't really find it overly depressing talking about this. What this is about is, like I said earlier, sharing my experiences. I've got to share more than just what is comfortable because if we just live in comfort and we just always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. It's that old motto, but it holds very true. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, and I'm out.